Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and this is going to be a My Choice Monday bonus review for the film In the House of Flies. Now, before I get into my review, I wanted to thank my good friend Chris from Hard Digest for sending this to me. I really enjoyed this, <clears throat> and it was very generous of him to do so. Now, In the House of Flies is a 2012 film that runs approximately 89 minutes and is directed by Gabriel Carrer. Now, he also did If a Tree Falls, Kill, and The Demolisher. Now, this is going to be a fairly short review because I really can't say too much about this film without giving the whole plot away. And <clears throat> it doesn't have that many actors in it, but they do a fantastic job. Uh, we have Ryan Kotak as Steven. He was in Antisocial 2 and the television show on the CW called Rain. This also has Lindsay Smith as Heather. She was in Forbidden, Dying for Love. And, of course, a name that everyone's going to recognize, Henry Rollins as The Voice. He was in The Last Heist, He Never Died, Suck, The Devil's Tomb, and Wrong Turn 2, which is a fan favorite. Not exactly one of my favorites, although it is growing on me uh, more as time goes by, but a lot of people really seem to like Wrong Turn 2 as one of the best films in the uh, Wrong Turn franchise. <clears throat> now, there's not a whole lot to this film, so I'm going to be giving a very brief synopsis as to not give the entire film away. Now, this film takes place in the 80s, and a very good way to kind of gauge how well they did with that was I actually had my wife down here uh, watching it with me, some of it, especially in the beginning, because the rest of the movie kind of doesn't matter. They can get away with pretty much anything. But when I put the film on and started watching it, uh, my wife was in the room and she said, this looks like an 80s movie. So I was like, OK, they did their job there as far as the whole costuming and the whole vibe and feel of the film. So this film takes place in the 80s, and you're following a couple who are very much in love, Stephen and Heather. Looks like they're walking on a boardwalk, kind of out for a fun night, maybe a date night. And, of course, they're kind of joking nonchalantly about uh, getting married, kind of, would you propose to me here, if so, why not, or, you know... Stuff that couples do. They end up getting in their car and they smell a foul smell. And they wake up in a concrete, kind of like a basement or a fallout shelter sort of. Where a man, all you have there is a phone, a rotary phone that is. <laughs> a blast from the past for that one. That doesn't have the dial, so you really can't call out. And they're getting calls from a strange voice, of course, played by Henry Rollins. Um, you soon find out that the girl, the reason why she was pushing marriage, is because she is pregnant. Now, the voice is playing deadly games with them, uh, withholding food, water, that sort of stuff. And I'm kind of going to have to leave it there. There's a lot more to the film, but there's not, if that makes any sense. I mean, there's a lot more things that happen. But it's basically located in the one spot, which is the, um, the fallout shelter or the basement or whatever you want to call it. Um, what did I think of this film? I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was a very good concept. Um, I don't think they had a big budget to work with. 
but it works in this film, in my opinion. It goes by pretty quick, but it's a slow burn at the same time, if that makes any sense. It's very interesting um, to me, the film was, and I actually really enjoyed it and do recommend it. I wanted to thank Chris again uh, for sending this to me. I really do appreciate it. This is a movie that I've been wanting to see for quite some time because I've heard really, really good things about it. So definitely check out In the House of Flies. Uh, this is uh, Black Fawn Distributing, I believe. Yeah, Black Fawn. This is unrated. There are going to be parts in this film that are, are uncomfortable to watch. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed it. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.